Hello, Internet and the world, people of the world, doctors of the world. This is a hazmat suit that I have designed to try and get out to the front lines. It's just the basic information and an idea. The most important things you can pull from this video are use trash bags as a substrate for your suit. Utilize duct tape to seal the seams. And when making your mask, use a two liter bottle with a double ended valve made out of pop caps that goes up into it. You want to add a check valve if you can. If you can't add a check valve, you want to take and put on bottle caps like this here and here so you have three airways. That way you're getting the most airflow possible. This filter is made out of one fifth of an N95 mask so you can get five of these filters per every one mask and depending on what size and shape mask you have you may be even get, be able to get more. So for the bottom of the suit down here, I have it open like a dress. Retrospectively, I feel like that was a bad idea. I should have done legs, made it slightly longer so I could tuck it into boots. Um, but this is the basic idea, right? You've got the two liter mask, double ended thing, valve made out of the, 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 the valve, and then you got the filter that's made out of the N95 or any type of mask, a check valve, the stretchy string helps it hold it on your head, two liter bottle, trash bags, tape it together, don't melt it together like I did, I feel like that was a bad idea retrospectively, um, tape it together, definitely make a better seal with the tape, but uh, this is the basic idea, get it to the front lines.